Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you like handbag contents, fashion related items, shopping, and how I organize my bag, how I use my bags, please continue watching and don't forget to subscribe. So today I am bringing you a, I think it is a, one of the affordable luxury classics, which is the Tory Burch Fleming handbag. So this handbag is, I think, considered a classic, um, even though it is not the Louis Vuitton or Chanel, those big brands. But I do think it is such a nice quality. And I got this, I think, in 2019, which is almost four years ago. Four years, closing to five years. And it's holding up really, really well. And I think Bloomingdale, sorry, not Bloomingdale's, uh, Tory Burch still have this on sale uh, as their classic styles every year. And I don't think this style is, this is one of their classic styles. I don't I think they're going to stop making it. So I just want to show you uh, kind of wear and tear on this bag after I had it for five years. And I know Tory Burch has gone, like, gone up in their pricing for their bags. So... Um, I do think it is a worth worthwhile investment money wise because this bag is so pretty and it doesn't go out of style and it is a stable style in Tory Burch because it's so loved and I don't I just think it's gonna go strong when you if you want if you're considering adding this to your collection so let me just show you the detail of this bag um, you can see this is the chain handle. Um, this is a shoulder strap. You can do it as a double or you can pull it out and carry it as a crossbody bag. So I really like this about this bag. This is very versatile. And it has a removable tassel uh, because mine has been sitting in storage for so long. Mm, the leather kind of curled up. But this is a removable with a hook, so you can unhook this if you want to. Right. I never removed it before, so you can do it like this, and you can have a bag with no tassel. I'm just going to keep it on there because that's how um, the bag comes with. And you can see the puffer coating on the top. I got the color shell pink. I really like this color when it first came out and I was lucky enough to grab it on sale uh, for like maybe half the price at the time. And it's, it is very hard to come by to get like a classic bag style with like a powder pink, shell pink color. I really, really like this color. I was so happy that I grabbed this when I had the chance. I don't think they're gonna produce this color like every season. It just comes and goes, so you have to watch out for it. So this is made of lamb skin. This is very luxurious leather material. And when I first got it, um, I think it is very, I feel like this leather is very prone to scratching. So I, I put like one or two tiny hairline scratch once I got it, but I feel like as as I was using this over the years, this, the scratches has come down, has been buffed out. So I do think the leather is very, very good quality. You can see the shine to it. This is a lambskin. And you know how expensive um, lambskin handbags could get with Chanel and other brands. The fact that Tory Burch comes out with a lambskin handbag with... Um, probably like a fraction of the price it is just amazing to me and the craftsmanship and the quality is really good you can see the black piping the flap flap is also an area where it gets scratches really easily but i don't see any scratches um, from what i'm looking at and here is the quilting the puffed quilting and it just feels so good after four years it's still going very strong it has a lot of life to it and on the sides this is just one and on the back it has a back pocket you can 
as it comes it comes out. I usually put my phone in here for easy access. And here is the price tag. This is in the shell pink color. So overall, I'm really, really pleased with this bag. Even though I have the, sh obviously this is inspired or in the kind of same chain handbag flat back category as the Chanel classic flap. But I do think um, this bag is so much more practical than the classic flap. Uh, for one, it, it is way more roomy than the classic flap. And it is much more lightweight and malleable. It's just so much more comfortable and more practical than the Chanel classic flap. And I think it is a much, much better um, inspired uh, version of the Chanel classic flap. And even though I have the Chanel classic flap in my collection, I still want to buy this. So I bought this after I have my Chanel. And I'm still not going to sell it. I love both bags. But I use this one way more than the my Chanel. Um, to me, they are two different bags, even though um, they have a similar style. And so let's get inside and see what I'm gonna carry today. Um, I'm I have decided to pull this bag out just to use it a little bit more and give it some love. Since I've had it for four years, I was using this a lot uh, when I first got it, and I have slowed down into using it because I got other new bags, other new goodies, and other new stuff. And now I just like thought of this bag and I really want to like start using it more and give my bag some love. So now um, let's open this. I have a toiletry 15. You have seen this a lot on my other videos. This is a pair of uh, scissors. They are portable scissors. And deodorant. This is a bug bite relief, a stick. So it comes in really handy when you have a kid and a child and you're playing outside uh, and got a bug bite. I have lavender oil, eyebrow powder. I've used this for the same brand for almost seven to eight years now. I have my hand cream. Obviously, another uh, oil for headaches and just a mint oil. Let me put those back. Here is one pouch, and I have the Kirigami medium pouch. Scrunchies. My CoverGirl Compact. This is matching really well with this bag. Um, so I have, it's in the translucent color. My Rollerball perfume. A lipstick. This is in the color clear. Let's go on. I have a Victoria's Secret coin wallet.
sunscreen. And I also have a hand sanitizer spray. And let's go inside the bag and see um, the interior. It's holding up really well. Uh, the interior is very clean. It has two pockets here. And another zipper, zipper pocket in here. So it, it's fabric lining. And the entire bag is really lightweight. And very very soft and squishy. So I do think this is this bag is really worth the money and the quality is so good that it's gonna last at least three to five years if you take care of it. And it it, it uses really good material. So Thank you everyone for watching this kind of um, older bag review. I like to use more bags in my collection that are older um, than I got them some time ago, just to give them some love and some ideas on like how you would rotate your older bags and how you want to just use your older bags just for to change things up. Alright, thank you everyone for watching. I will see you again in my next video. Bye!